Well everyone, it's time for us to go ahead and compare the Apple Watch SE2 and the Apple Watch Series 4, which I haven't even compared yet, and see which specific watch is a better one for you. Now, personally, I actually do own the Apple Watch Series 4 that I use on an everyday basis I'm probably going to be switching very soon, but I still use this Series 4. I've been using it for about a few years now, and I've had a tremendous time with it. I think it's an amazing watch, and I probably will upgrade soon, but I really don't want to. It's kind of like a love story. I don't even know how to describe it. The Apple Watch SE 2, though, is the latest Apple Watch you know, from the SE lineup, which I love. And it's very interesting because this watch is substantially cheaper than the Apple Watch Series 8, and it's way, way cheaper than the Apple Watch Ultra. So if you want to pick up one of these newer watches, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there. You can help support the channel at the same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both these watches, the big thing to keep in mind here is that the Apple Watch SE 2 and the Apple Watch Series 4 kind of have the same type of layout on the front. They are both 40 millimeter and 44 millimeter casings that you can get on both these watches. So what does that mean? Well, they pretty much have the same type of exterior for the most part. Now, I will say the front of the Apple Watch SE 2 might look a little bit better here and there, but they are almost identically the same thing. And I only say that because maybe Apple has calibrated the screen on the SE 2 a little bit better, but that's even a reach right there. And I do think they're almost pretty much identically the same. They both get up to 1000 nits of brightness. And although the Apple Watch SE 2 is definitely better, I still think the Series 4 looks great. And they look, like I said, almost identically the same thing on the front. On the right side, they both have the digital crown. They both have the side button you can click in, which is awesome. And on the back, you have that standard little charging, you know, puck on the back too. Now it does look a little bit different on both these watches. So that was the one thing Apple kind of did. They kind of improved the back of both these well, with the Apple Watch SE 2. So that was kind of nice but you're really never going to look on the back of your watch really ever. I don't remember the last time I looked at it, so it's really just like not that big of a deal. And that kind of covers it up on the outside of this watch. Now, band-wise, they both support the same exact bands. So realistically speaking, the same bands that will work on the Apple Watch SE 2 will actually work on the Apple Watch Series 4 as well. So that is another big, massive thing to keep in mind. If you're somebody who wants to go ahead and pretty much have the latest and greatest bands from any type of manufacturer, well, they're going to work on both of these watches. So definitely keep that in mind in the back of your head. Now, that I think officially covers up everything on the outside. Now, internally, there are some key differences. For number one, for starters, you are getting twice the amount of capacity and storage on the Apple Watch SE SE2 than on the Apple Watch Series 4. The Series 4 had 16 gigabytes of storage. This SE2 now has 32 gigabytes of storage. So that is one massive thing to keep in mind right there. They're both water resistant up to 50 meters and they both come in the cellular model and the standard GPS model too, which is really cool. Now with the Apple Watch SE2, you're getting a few more features built in for the most part. For one, you're getting that new S8 chip inside. For you know, for people who don't know, the Apple Watch Series 8 also has the S8 chip. And the reason why this is important is because longevity of software is very, very important for how long you can keep a watch. The Apple Watch Series 4 has that S4 chip inside, so it's going to be slower, it's going to be a little bit of an older processor, which is expected, but the thing to keep in mind here is that the Apple Watch Series 4 came out many years ago, so because of that, you're going to be getting an older, lasting watch, like the Apple Watch Series 4 is the oldest supported watch on watchOS right now. The Series 3 lasted for longer than I thought it was going to last, but that thing just got unsupported, so now the Series 4 could end up lasting longer, could end up lasting, you know, not as long. We don't know for a fact how long that specific phone is going to last. If I had to guess, I mean, maybe like another year or so. And that is the reason why I plan on updating sooner than later, because, you know, that specific watch is probably going to be outdated. So if there's one thing I can tell you, keep in mind in the back of your head that the Apple Watch Series 4, maybe in the next year or two, may actually end up getting outdated sooner than later. So that is something to keep in mind. Again, not a crazy big deal, but something to kind of keep and kind of remember. So that covers it up there. Now, I use the Apple Watch Series 4 on an everyday basis, and I feel like it's plenty of fast for me. I really don't have any complaints about it at all, and I'm super, super happy with how this specific watch has held up for the last you know, few years of me using it. But I do know that the Apple Watch SE 2 is a much faster watch, and honestly, I do feel away with using an Apple Watch SE 2 because it is a faster, smoother watch overall, and I know that the longevity ahead of the Apple Watch SE 2 is actually really cool. But I will say for a lot of the core features, you're honestly missing out you know, on both of them. So they both have things like fall detection. They both have, you know, heart notifications. They both have, you know, different chipsets inside and all that other good stuff. But when compared to something like the Apple Watch Series 8, 
I mean, that watch has the temperature sensor. That thing has, you know, crash detection built in. That thing has, you know, dust resistance. I mean, that thing has everything. Fast charge time as well. But with the Apple Watch SE2, you are still getting a very good watch. And I say the same as that thing about the Apple Watch Series 4 as well. So to kind of sum up this whole entire comparison, I will definitely tell you, at least in my opinion, the Apple Watch Series 4 is still a very decent watch for the, you know, value per dollar. But because the Apple Watch SE2 is a substantially cheaper watch than the Series 8, that could also mean that watch is a pretty good value as well. Again, that doesn't mean you have to go and pick up the Apple Watch, you know, SE2, but I would probably tell you, in my opinion, the SE2 could end up being a better deal for some people out there than even the Series 4, considering the fact that the Series 4 could be outdated, you know, in the next year or two. So that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.